Hey, Joe Taylor here from Taylor's Do It Centers and Taylor's Fireworks to talk to you about outdoor cooking. It's tailgate time of the year, football games and big events, and nothing's funner than cooking outside. I've got two things I want to show you today. First is the big green egg. And the big, if you haven't heard of the big green egg, well, you must be in a closet somewhere because this thing is unbelievable. The green egg is an event grill. It's a, a big party grill. You can cook everyday burgers and pork chops on the green egg, but it's, it's great on the weekend for cooking wings and, and uh, roast and ribs and all kinds of sorts of things. Well, today we're doing a demo with some wings. That's my boy's favorite thing to cook on Redskin Sunday football is wings on the grill. Sounds simple, it is, but they are delicious. Now what you do, the green egg, the great thing about it is a ceramic cooker. It keeps a lot of the moisture in and cooks at a consistent temperature. So what you want to do is take that gauge and get that temperature right at 325 degrees. And we'll keep it at that temperature for the length of the cooking time. Now wings on an egg, as I said, you want to cook for a long period of time at a low heat. So we're going to cook them for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. But it's not going to burn them, they're going to cook nice and slow, and they're going to be fall off the bone good when they're done. So go inside, watch the whole first half of the game, and at halftime, we're going to be ready to eat some wings. They're going to be delicious. Hey, one of the favorite things to do in the South is to fry shrimp. Fry anything for that matter, but we're going to fry some shrimp today. Butterfly fried shrimp, it is my favorite birthday meal. I love it. Now we're going to start, start down here, our Bayou Deep Fryer. Now mine's a little dirty, but that's because I've been using it a lot. We got my Bayou Fryer and I got my peanut oil here at about 350 degrees. That's where we're going to cook it. So come on over the table, let's prep the shrimp. Follow me. You're going to start out with your shrimp. We got 16, 20 to a pound shrimp, a good sized shrimp. You could go bigger, you could get the 10, 16 per pound shrimp uh, if you really want to impress your guest. But I buy them at the grocery store. They're already de-veined, which is really nice. Saves you a lot of time. What you're going to do at home is you're going to remove the shell down to the tail. Keep the tail and the last piece of shell so you've got something to hold on to when you're eating that shrimp. And then what you're going to do is you're going to butterfly the shrimp. What that means, you take a sharp knife, lay the shrimp on its side, and you're going to cut the shrimp halfway down. See that? Opens up the shrimp, cut it halfway down. That's what gives you the butterfly look when it fries. So I've already done that to all the shrimp, and now we're going to prep them, and we're going to cook them in the deep fryer. So to prep them, you need two extra things. You need buttermilk. This is the best thing I know that adheres here's the uh, seasoning breading to the shrimp. You can also use cold beer. You can use half and half. You can use any kind of good thick liquid, but buttermilk seems to work the best. Then you're going to use the seafood breading. We like shorty seafood breading right out of homegrown in Virginia, out of Farmville, Virginia. Shorty seafood breading is one of my favorites, and we're going to use that today. So what we do here is we take the shrimp, we're going to put it in the buttermilk, get buttermilk all over the shrimp, inside and out, then we're going to put breading on it. All right, drip the, drip the buttermilk off of there, I'll put it in the breading. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Make sure it gets all in and out of the shrimp. Adheres to that hot dog. Man, I'm salivating just fixing it. Can't wait. All right, once they're all butterflied, then we're going to drop them into the, uh, into the basket. All right. All right. And then we're going to drop them into the fryer. Ready to go? All right. Once I drop them in the fryer, it's going to take just about a minute to cook. Just about one minute. And you keep that temperature at 350 degrees. Now while that's frying up, don't you love the sound of frying stuff? And my kids love deep fried french fries. So after the shrimp, move that temperature up to 425 and drop the fries. That's what the kids are really waiting on. While we're watching the shrimp fry, let's go over and taste that wings we just cooked. I told you they're gonna be fall off the bone good. Oh my goodness. Excuse the seafood breading. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Hmm. And yours will be too. Man, is that good. Go Redskins! It's been about a minute, so I think the shrimp are done. Let's check them out. Oh yeah, they're perfect. All right, so let's shake them dry. Look at that. Are they beautiful? Oh yeah. Oh wow, did they look delicious. Look at that, will you? Look at that butterfly shrimp. Is that gorgeous or what? Just like you see in a restaurant, but I'm telling you, they're better. 
and I happen to have some cocktail sauce right here. Man, is this gonna be good. Mm, mm, mm. So big, I need two bites. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, sorry about that double dipping. Well, there you go. If you like my short recipe on frying shrimp, I know that was quick today. I'll put it on our website. Go to taylorsdoitcenter.com and go to our tips section. Click on the tips, a lot of the recipe in there for you. I hope you get involved. Get yourself a green egg, get you a deep fryer, a bayou propane cooker, and a uh, 10 quart stainless steel fryer accessory. Have some fun outside this year. It's so great to cook outside. You know. And my wife really likes to keep the, the smell outside. So, you know, they'd appreciate that too. Boy, do those shrimp look good. I tell you what, they were tasty too, going down. You too can cook, cook shrimp like that. You can cook on the green egg as well. Come on down to Taylor's Do It Centers or Taylor's Fireworks and talk to our experts. We can get you cooking immediately. If you want to cook or work on our project, come on down to Taylor's Do It Centers and let's do your project together. <laughs>